In 2002, Porsche introduced probably their most controversial model to their lineup, and that's the Porsche Cayenne. But fast forward to today, in 2021, guess what? The top trending model in North America? The Porsche Cayenne. Why so? Well, I guess it has to do with the fact that the Porsche Cayenne represents about 32% of overall sales. That's more than if you were to take the sales of the 911, the 718 Boxer Cayman, as well as the Panamera and combine them. After nearly two decades of production, there have been many variants of the Cayenne. And I'm here to tell you, if you enjoy enthusiastic driving, you want the sportiest version of them all, no matter if you're considering the E1 platform, the E2 platform, or the E3 platform, the one to get is the GTS. Today we have you the very first Cayenne GTS, the 2008 E1 GTS, and we have the latest variant, a 2021. Okay, so let's take a walk around the E1 GTS and what makes it stand out from a standard S model or even stands out from a turbo model. Very aggressive styling with large intakes, probably menacing as you look in uh, the rear view mirror of the car and, and see this one coming up upon you. Come around to the side, you see that these models have a fender flare right on top of unique 21 inch wheels to the GTS. Beautiful wheels, one of my favorite styles that Porsche has ever made. And down here you'll see the cladding that came on the turbos and it's also in body color. Now these cladding pieces did come on a unique S uh, in 2006 and that would be the titanium edition, but the rest of them, this is unique to a GTS and to a turbo. You'll see that there's no bright work on the side of a GTS, everything is blacked out. Come around to the back. The lower cladding of the bumper is also unique, very aggressive, very stylish. Special tips for a GTS. And what's my favorite part on a GTS? Has to be the rear wing. Now, I'm sure there's a reason for why it's sort of a biplane design, but I just love the killer looks, to be honest with you. And uh, yeah, that's my favorite part. With the GTS model, you can expect an increase in power. Modest though. The 4.8 liter V8 in the S produced about 385 horsepower. And once it's, it's in GTS trim, it's about 405 horsepower. Torque remained about 369 foot pounds, but that's plenty of power to propel this 4,900 pound vehicle. Along with that 4.8 liter V8, equipped with the factory sport exhaust, you get a symphony of sounds. Take a listen. So let's take a look at the 2021 GTS. They haven't changed the recipe very much. It's still very, very aggressive in styling, larger intake areas, uh, blacked out headlights. Now the trim on the 2021 GTSs, actually for all Cayennes, they all have this trim now as standard, but on this one, is all, it's also body colored. Uh, probably the biggest standard feature here is there are these beautiful RS Spider wheels, 21 inches, body colored molding, and of course, all blacked out trim, no bright work here on the exterior. A very special lower cladding with unique tailpipes. The rear wing. It's not as aggressive as the E1, surprisingly, but still beautiful nonetheless. Unlike the E1 GTS, the E3 GTS has blacked out lighting across the back. The biggest news for the new GTS, the V8 is back, and it's back with twin turbos. In the E2 generation, they introduced the V6 twin turbo, which is a great motor too, but we're happy that the V8 is back, complete with 453 horsepower and 457 foot-pounds of torque. And along with that V8, you get that V8 soundtrack. Take a listen. Mm -hmm. 
To go along with the aggressive styling of the GTS, they have a sports suspension to match. They both have ride height adjustable suspension with PASM. In the lowest settings, you can set this car 20 millimeters lower than the standard S, or you can set this one to 30 millimeters lower. Now the beauty of the GTS is definitely more than skin deep. The first time you sit in this interior, be it the driver's seat, passenger seat, or even the back seat for that matter, you really do know this car is special. And it's the little touches, right? I mean, the first touch point, the steering wheel on an E1 Cayenne is gonna have a kind of a thicker, it is a thicker rimmed wheel. The uh, matching gauge faces are a nice touch. The aluminum look trim, which I love. Personally, I'm not a fan of wood trim inside cars. Please don't hate me because I said that. Um, Alcantara, the sportiest material of materials alcantara lines the pillars of this car the sun visors the roof everywhere you look there's alcantara it really is a nicely equipped interior now compared to the 2021 yes the interior of an e1 is starting to look a little bit dated but let's call it classic um it's definitely more of an suv layout the newer car has a sporty vehicle sort of interior layer layout where things are a bit higher and such um, but you know I I like it I think this again is kind of silly to say this has a vintage feel talking about a Cayenne but it does it has sort of like this vintage feel and and if you're looking for a Cayenne of this era why not go for this nicer interior sportier interior more unique interior the price difference between an S and a GTS, if you're looking in the Tiptronic, not manual, manual prices are through the roof. But if you're looking at an S versus a GTS in the used market, it's not that huge of a difference. But I think you get so much more with the GTS package. All right, so let's take a little ride in this 08 GTS. You know, one of the things that I share with folks when they're considering buying a GTS is make sure you take one out for a ride. Now, this is the sportiest of all Cayennes. And I will tell you, even in comfort mode, going around bins, going around rough surfaces, it's you're gonna feel it a little bit, uh, you know, more than say a standard luxury SUV. Um, definitely feels very flat around the corners when you put it in sport mode. Things change a bit, the chassis stiffens up, shock stiffens up, changes it into a different gear. Now you're starting to have a little bit of fun. And I can tell you, you're just pointing the car in the direction you need to go. Everything stays flat. Throttle response is great. It's amazing what Porsche has done with the Cayenne, especially in the GTS, in terms of making a sporty vehicle. Is it a 911 sitting up higher? No, not at all. It's, I laugh when people say that. But is it the 911 of SUVs? Absolutely. This thing sticks. It's not hugely faster than an S, but because of how athletic the suspension is, I mean, I'm just throwing this thing around sure-footed. I have no worries at all getting it around the corner. The brakes are phenomenal on the throttle, hitting the apexes, getting the brakes down, slowing it down around the curve. I mean, there's really no drama. It just does it really well. And if you're looking for a one vehicle does it all, something that's sporty, something that you can take the kids or the dog or drive long distances as opposed to a standard two-door coupe, man, this... This is a pretty nice combination. So the GTS theme continues in the E3 GTS. Definitely sporting in nature. 
getting into the seat will be your first telltale sign that you're in a GTS because the bolsters are high and it requires some effort to get over them and into your seat but you're handsomely rewarded once you're in. It feels like someone's giving you a nice bear hug and they're ready to go on an adventure with you in your GTS. Grabbing the steering wheel, this is not Alcantara. Did you know Alcantara is a brand? This is actually Sport Tech. Um, very Alcantara-like, feels nice in the hand. Unlike the E1 Cayenne, I don't believe the, the wheel diameter or the, the grip is any bigger than a standard S, but feels nice nonetheless. More sport tech material on the ABC pillars, up on the roof, the sun visors, two by the way. You can put one here and bring one down, pretty fancy. Um, sport tech material on this armrest, so everywhere you touch it's got like the sporting feel. Of course with like all newer SUVs and such and cars, you have this huge panoramic sunroof which is fantastic gives the car a nice airy open feeling but again this is all sporting in nature the brush steel here looks very nice a darker tone than the earlier e1 but nice nonetheless again not wood so i'm happy there the piano black material looks very nice now i am curious how it will fare five down uh, five years uh, down the road um, in terms of fingerprints and scratches, but as of right now, it looks fantastic. So, let's go for a ride. Let's see, I've got it in comfort mode. And if you remember when I was talking about the E1, soft was not really that soft, um, or comfort mode. Here in comfort mode on in this GTS, the newer version, it is very comfortable. It's still not cushy, so if you're looking for a cushy ride, no need to apply here, but it's definitely livable and I think your passengers would appreciate it. Um, but when you get it into sport mode, everything tightens up, exhaust gets a little bit louder, throttle response gets better, transmission drops a couple of gears, and you're starting to fling the chassis around with no problem. The newer car is definitely a refinement to the last one. Uh, you're throwing around approximately the same weight, but it is even more so effortless. The E3 definitely feels more nimble than the E1 Cayenne. Now the power difference between this one and the first generation is not incredibly significant. Throwing this thing around the corner, it's amazing how nimble it is. You don't feel the weight. It's so flat, the body control is you know, nice and stiff, but not overly stiff. It's very capable, the steering is quick. A little bit lighter than the E1 Cayenne, uh, but very, very direct. I mean, it, it just sort of like point and go, it's fantastic. And the stick, of course, you're coming around corners. You know you've got all this mass with you, but you're, it seems as though you're defying physics. The brakes hold the car down really well before you enter a corner. And then as you release the brakes and add throttle, steering input, it just sticks and goes. The exhaust note is still there. Maybe I'll shut up and let you listen. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, it is a sports SUV. And it really does handle very well it's very flat around the corners, very predictable. Power comes on strong. It seems to always be in the right gear. And that's really what a sports car is all about, regardless of four doors, two doors, coupe or wagon S form. A sports car is, is if you can do all this stuff and it bring a smile to your face. And certainly this GTS delivers. While the original GTS may have been the sportiest Cayenne in 2008, when driven back to back against the 2021 GTS, it's apparent how far the Cayenne platform has come. The 2008 GTS now feels more utility than sport when compared to the latest Cayenne GTS, which really puts the emphasis on sport. And the star of the GTS show, the eight speed automatic transmission coupled with the twin turbo V8. They really are magical. The GTS DNA is clear from 2008 to 2021. Both SUVs look like they're from the same family. 
They have the same interior and exterior accoutrements that emphasize sport. Both are a joy to drive on our favorite back roads as well as capable and comfortable to serve as daily drivers. As we would expect from Porsche, the Cayenne GTS is closing the gap between SUV and sports cars.